are here at Mitchell Courthouse, and at this point, there's another protest going on. This is one that was scheduled for this evening. It started about 5.30 this evening. There are many more protesters here tonight than there were earlier today. Earlier today, there was a small but boisterous group that protested outside the course, courthouse, and of course, the uh, potential jurors and everyone else could hear it inside the court. They came to the Mitchell Courthouse on Calvert Street in downtown Baltimore with a message, but as they prepared to give it, some protesters found themselves in conflict with sheriff's deputies on where they could stand. He said, no, the sheriff has the permit, uh, stating that nobody is allowed on this sidewalk, on this or that side, to protest. At first, compliance, then defiance. I'm not in jail for, 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 for my rights. I can do that. Contemplating a possible jail stay, the group moved across Fayette Street where they stated their purpose, justice for Freddie Gray, and their frustration. We will not be silenced. They then moved back across the street and continued their protest in front of the courthouse. The group Monday morning remained small, 20 protesters. But they made their voices heard in the courtroom during jury selection in Officer William Porter's trial. Everybody needs to see that people are outraged and care and that they want their voices heard. And I agree 100% uh, what they're doing. I think that when people uh, protest peacefully and show that they care about an issue, I think that's the good of the people and we need that. One minister says he didn't come to protest but to pray. My prayer is that uh, we we don't have, uh, you know, we got Chicago, we got uh, all over the country things are happening. We must protest but keep the peace. And again, sheriff's deputies came out and asked the protesters to clear the uh, walkway here to open a path. Um, the protesters said that they had a right to protest here and they have not, uh, they decided not to leave again. So again, the uh, protesters are telling us that they are planning to keep a presence here throughout the trial um, as they seek justice. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.